David Bay here for MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Melbourne for the 2016 Arnold Classic Australia, and I am here with fitness competitor Whitney Jones. Whitney, ninth place at last year's Olympia. Now, obviously, ninth place in the entire world, not too shabby, but you moved up all the way to second, essentially against pretty much the same lineup in a matter of six months. Talk to us a little bit about the, the progress that you made from the Olympia to the Arnold just a few weeks ago. Sure. Well, placing ninth, you know, obviously, yes, it is great, and to be on the Olympia stage is always awesome, but I wasn't happy with that, so um, I'm very critical about my routine, physique, I took feedback from the judges, and I've been working my butt off literally from that day on, um, literally. literally working everything. Um, for my physique, they always say, bring your legs down, bring your legs down, but I haven't trained legs for six years, so. It's a little bit of a problem, right? It is. It's like, I'm not training them, but. So what do you do? I mean, because I know some guys who have been advised to bring stuff down mm -hmm. will like train them every day like to purposely try to over train them to ha to cause atrophy but if you have really genetically gifted legs that can backfire as well it did, and I did try that and it didn't work they got bigger so um, I actually started trying to do I never do cardio believe it or not um, routine is my cardio no cardio at all Jeez. You know, so I started to do some um, just early morning nothing extensive I mean 10 to 15 minutes but I did it consistently every day and <laughs> And it, they started finally coming down. I mean, but it was it took months and months and months because it was small changes. But those small changes really add up. And just trying to pull my whole physique and my package together to be more symmetrical. Um, since my legs were so overpowering, I needed to have my top match it. So I did that. And then, of course, just with the routine. Routine's two-thirds. So Yeah, now routine-wise, yes. anybody who's seen your routines knows that from an athletic standpoint, I mean, let's take away polish and all the other stuff yeah. just from a straight <laughs> athletic standpoint your routine seemed to be a little bit above everybody else what's what well, like like what's your I mean like jumping eight feet off the air all kinds of crazy stuff <laughs> well like, give it what like what's your background like a gymnastics or a dance or anything like that um actually um no gymnastics background everyone asked that I'm self-taught I had two older brothers growing up who dared me to do all sorts of stupid <laughs> stuff hey Whitney try this like <laughs> yeah all right whatever how it happened yeah so I learned back handsprings back tucks aerials from dares um, but then as I got older I did dance and I feel like I feel like I should be like giving like a warning like don't don't yes, don't try that maybe try it but probably not don't try Whitney stuff because yeah it's it's a little crazy but I got over that fear um, and I just like to do new things like last year I incorporated a little bit of break dancing and b-boy stuff wasn't sure how it would be received but turned out pretty good it was a lot of fun it did and so then I kind of worked more on that um, incorporated more elements I love hip-hop I just love more like bold, in your face, just fun and energetic routines. So that's what I always try to bring to the stage. I think, what do I love? And try to wrap that into what I bring to each of my shows. So. Well, and I think from a fan standpoint and from a media standpoint, that's what makes the fitness division as exciting as it is, yep. is that everybody brings something different. We're used to seeing Oksana bring something very dramatic and kind of like, oh, and then we get some competitors like yourself who it's just like, High, high energy, upbeat, yeah. athleticism, like in your face, and as, like I said, as a media person, as a fan, it's always a lot of fun. Um, changes from, you know, we know with the fitness routines, generally speaking, you guys put a lot of effort into putting those together, so, I mean, sometimes people want to know if there's going to be changes, but can we essentially look for the same routine that we saw a few weeks ago? So, yeah, we always kind of make a few tweaks, but we'll have to see. I'll ask you tomorrow or Saturday. Saturday. What'd you see? Did you notice the changes? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you can look for those changes. As she said, Saturday, uh, fitness pre-judging starts at 3 p.m. I believe you guys are just going through the physique round yep. at 3 o'clock. Finals start at 7. Remember, guys, all these times are 15 hours ahead of Eastern Standard USA time, 18 hours ahead of uh, West Coast time. So make sure to keep that in mind when you're looking for all the updates and everything you're used to from MuscularDevelopment.com. But for right now, we're going to wrap it up. So one more time, this is David Bay with fitness competitor Whitney Jones for MD from the 2016 Arnold Classic Australia.